is don't wait. Don't wait to begin studying for your ACJ. Five months, you're going to sit around and do nothing. Do you think that's a good idea? Okay, you need to start studying now so you're not wasting time. Extend the length of how much you're preparing for the ACJ. Like, Hey everybody, welcome back. AFK results are out. So let's talk about what to do next. All right, welcome back to another NDB news update. I'm Dr. Ahmed Hafez from Scholars Dental. So uh, congratulations, first of all, to all of the students that did the AFK exam uh, that at least put effort into the AFK exam. Whether you passed or not, that's just, you know, an obstacle in your way. I know it's a big one. Don't let it depress you. Some of you have to be realistic with how much time you need to actually pass the exam. That's fine. Um, sometimes you may need more than one, you know, cycle to actually pass the exam. So in, in our coaching institute, we actually tell students this. If, if we if we find that their time, they're busy people, we tell them that, look, you might not make it from your first time because you're busy. You just don't have the same amount of time that someone else does. Um, and you just have to be realistic with yourself. And to all of those, uh, to all of you that passed, um, congratulations. Awesome. You cleared the exam. Big step, right? So now what do you do next? So I'm going to try to divide um, into all the types of students that you may be. So for example, from the August now 2021. Okay, AFK August 2021. Let's draw our timeline here. Okay, so we have students. Let's make it a little bit. I, I like the red. That passed the exam. Okay. Okay, so here's my one of my main messages to um, to everyone that passed the AFK. If you go if you go to the NDB website, there's nothing really new when it comes to news, right? Like uh, nothing much new except for this one. I didn't really make a video about this, but it was uh, that the AG, ACG, ACJ registration has opened. Okay, so if we click here, we could see that um an additional block of seats has become available for the november 2021 uh will open thursday so look when it so this was september 3rd but look when it opens september 9th right so and the results came out like just what was it yes yesterday i think it was yesterday or the day before but anyway long after that so now uh you got your results you know here september Let's say, was it 24? Let's just say it was 20, 23, I think. Okay, or 22. Uh, but anyway, in, here, in this area, so results. And the ACJ registration, the ex extra available seats opened on September 9. Okay, so most likely a lot of seats are taken. Okay, most of them are taken. And what uh, I've heard is that maybe there's a seat in Australia or New Zealand. Um, and people are hesitant maybe to do that. Okay, so here's my main message is don't wait. Don't wait to begin studying for your ACJ. And I'm going to tell you, um, let's just draw this out here in the timeline, okay? So September 23, okay, the exam is in November, right, of 2021. You're, you're thinking, oh, I'm not going to be able to get into this ACJ. The next ACJ after that is all the way in May, right? May 2020, 2021. Now you might end up needing to take it in May. Who knows, right? But people usually study, start studying seriously for the May around March. Okay, of 2020. Sorry, this is 2022. My bad. 2022. So like, you know, studying or course, let's say. And, you know, what are you going to do from here all the way to March? September, Oct let's say September is done. That's October, right? November, December, Jan, Feb, right? Five months, you're going to sit around and do nothing. Do you think that's a good idea? What if you go and start studying in March and then you fail in May? And then you go like, oh, I actually needed more time to prepare for ACJ. And that's something that's common because a lot of times uh, the new students that go for ACJ are competing with um, experienced student that already maybe failed the ACJ and have more time on their on uh, you know in their 
uh, to their advantage. They had more time preparing for it. And because they're competing with them, they might end up failing on their first attempt. So why not start preparing for the ACJ as if it is your second attempt? Like you have that time. Why not start now? Even if you're going to do the May exam. So people may think, well, why should I go pay for a course now? Right? But let's be honest here, right? You're going to be like, why should I pay for a course now? Then if I don't get into the November exam, I have to pay again in March to prepare for the May. Now I'm paying twice. And not it's not only about the payment. It's also about the effort, right? So we have a solution for that. Okay, what we're offering for this cycle um, for ACJ is that everybody that enrolls in the ACJ right now for trying to prepare for the November exam, even if they don't get into that exam, they'll be allowed to come back for the course in the uh, in the March course to prepare for the May exam for the same price. So you get a free repeat pretty much. Okay, so I mean, you can't be, it's just, you know, that's literally what you need. Okay. You need to start studying now. So you're not wasting time, extend the length of how much you're preparing for the ACJ. Like you could start from this September. Okay. All the way up to, uh, let's say it goes until November. Oh, uh, because the, the course does have a schedule. Our course does have a schedule. It ends. So it ends maybe at the, by, by the exam. You take a little break, you could read on your own. And then once our March course starts again, you're allowed to come back for that one if you're doing the May exam. Like you come back and do the course again, okay? So we're giving you an option. Now you might say, well, what if I'm not taking the May course? No problem, you could use that free repeat anytime. Okay, we'll give you that, we'll give you that option. We just don't want you to delay your starting. You don't, we don't like, I don't want students to uh, not take advantage of their AFK knowledge to advance their ACJ preparation, begin early with ACJ preparation, understand what it's about, pretty much do everything you can to make your first attempt in ACJ the best attempt you can and pass it. We, Especially for our students, we're make, making these kind of offers mainly for our students and actually giving them a little bit extra, but for everybody else, you could come and do just do it risk-free. What does that mean risk-free? Basically that if you do the if you come in and enroll in the ACJ now, you're not wasting your time and you're not wasting your money. You see, because you paid once, well, you could come back for the next course and uh, prepare for the main. No problem. I, a free repeat for you just so that you get it done early. OK, so that is my, uh, you know, what I think everybody in the ACJ that just passed the AFK should do. Congratulations again. And start studying for the ACJ now so you don't forget your AFK stuff and you could build on it right away. Now, for those of you that um, failed the exam, right? I know there's also a lot of failed uh, saying it was a hard exam, but the ones that failed and didn't take a course, I mean, here's the thing. we th There's a reason. There's a cause that you failed. You're not as prepared as people that did take a course. Sorry to say, but that's the truth. So stop wasting your time, your attempts, and begin looking for courses. Whatever course works for you, whatever institute, it's better than just doing it on your own. You need help with AFK, okay? Um, our students right now just began our, our uh, course and they're, they're really enjoying it. I hope they comment in the, you know, leave comments below. Uh, you know, encouraging other students to see, but they're very enjoying all our, our different features that we have on our, in our online AFK course. Um, and I just think that if you try to do AFK without a course, you're really, really setting yourself, yourself up for like failure and disappointment. Don't waste your attempt. Uh, you know, we book, we, we, uh, give free consults. So if contact us at info at scholarsdental.com and we'll see if you qualify for a free consult, we'll book a zoom consult. It could be most likely with me. And I could just analyze or me if you failed, that means you're already approved, right? So you do qualify for, uh, you know, come do the consult and we'll talk and I'll see why you failed maybe and what, what you could have done differently and how our course could help you. And then you could decide and go do consults on other courses. That's fine too. I, I, I don't, but get help. Don't try to do this on your own or just relying, you know, self-studying and Facebook, such a waste of time, really. Like you'll see the, the huge difference between uh, you know, professional help and just you doing it on your own. Okay. So at least get the consult. It's free. You have nothing to lose. If you don't want to, you don't have to register, but at least you tried to learn about what's out there. Okay. What, the, what our help is like now, 
the rest is C people that did a course and failed, right? So for, for this type of people, this is where I say there's something that it depends, first of all, on the course. So is it a course that had enough knowledge and support? Okay. Assuming it is, it, it was probably just that you weren't ready to pass yet. So don't, it's just an obstacle. Um, again, what I, I defer between two types of students here. Okay. When we have a student that let's say, you know, let's look at student, let's call it student one. This person just graduated, right? Like a new grad, you know, not no, no, uh, kids not married. So no, like no responsibility, n no need to work full time, not working, right? Can't support themselves and study full time. So they could give what we call this is full time studying, full time study. Okay. So someone like this has a lot of time, right? So this person could, when they take a course, they'll take the full advantage of the course. Like they could sit down Monday to Saturday, study, maybe take a break on Sunday. If you add their intelligence to it, like if they're even, you know, you know, actually may have higher intelligence than others, maybe then that even adds on more. So this person could really well pass from one cycle of a course, right? That's what we tell our students. Like this person, when they take a course once, I think they're ready to pass, right? And if they couldn't get in and they want to repeat the course, they'll just increase their chances of getting a higher mark. Now, student two is, you know, someone that has family, kids, you know, graduated maybe a long time ago, right? So they forgot the, the, the feeling of studying. They forgot the basics. They, so a uh, grad long ago, let's say. Oh, let's make sure you guys could see this. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm, I'm typing it down here. Okay. Let me scroll down a bit there. Okay. So grad a, a long time ago. What else did I want to say? Uh, working full time to support, right? Full time working. Right. And so they can't do, they can't, uh, study full time. They have to study part time and that's tough. Okay. Like it means that now with our course at work, cause we're online we have flexible timing, uh, because most of our main lectures, all of them pretty much are recorded, pre-recorded high quality. So people can go in and watch it like after work, before work, they could kind of fit it in. And then we have live Q and A's, you know, uh, almost every week where we go in and we discuss the, the stuff, just, just trust us and book the consult, then see it for yourself, then judge, right? Before you go, I don't want online because everybody that are people, the students that we have in our course thought that online is going to be tough and wouldn't work. But when they're doing it, they're like, wow, this is actually pretty good. Okay. So that's what students are saying. Now this person, student two, okay. Or stu two, this person is not going to have the same time that stu one does. It's just realistic. Be realistic, right? Um, they work, let's say some uh, told me they work nine hours. So like, let's say they go out at 9 AM, they come back 6 PM. They, they have to, you know, do help with the kids. Uh, they're tired, they're drained, uh, you know, whatever other, they got, got to re regenerate or, you know, uh, f you know, uh, fill up their recharge their battery kind of, because so how many hours do they really have to put every day? Not many. So Stu too will not, may not be able to pass in one cycle. It's just realistic. How could you compare Stu one to Stu two? And, and the, and the answer is you don't compare. If you're a Stu two person, you definitely need help. Don't do it on your own. But don't expect that it's just, you know, a five months program and I'm done. It may be a year. Okay. I have uh, students that are stu two types and they're saying themselves that, wow, I could, they didn't do the exam in August and they told me, wow, a good thing I didn't because I wasn't ready and good thing I, I'm repeating the course now. I feel a lot different. I'm too busy to do it in one cycle. And that is realistic. So people that did a course and failed, if the course is good, like from your own evaluation, okay and you failed, then it's just an obstacle. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't say anything about you. It's not that you're not good enough. It's just realistically, you can't compare yourself to someone that's sitting down studying full time. You can't, you can't uh, compare yourself to that. And you shouldn't. So 
put a realistic plan. That's what I do in our consults. We try to analyze your situation, look at a realistic plan for you and tell you that, look, this is what you, you should expect. Don't be realistic with your expectations. That's will, that will prevent disappointment. Okay. So again, uh, whether you want to do our ACJ course or AFK course, okay, you could always book a free consult with us and, I'll, and we'll discuss it and you should get started right away because we already began and it's still better than not starting and wasting five months again, right? You want to start studying now, wherever the course is, it's okay because there's catch up time anyway, okay? Uh, it's just better to talk about it first so that you learn about the course. You could watch our YouTube videos to learn more about how our online platform uh, is. We will release soon a video about uh, the features we have for our online platform as well. Okay, I think I summarized uh, the, the, what I wanted to really say uh, about you know the three types of students that come out from this exam or any exam, right? People that passed, they're going to be looking for ACJ, but they have a problem. Should we take the ACJ now? or not because they don't want to waste you know the effort and the money uh on a course right now because they might not get into the exam we solve that problem if you missed out in the beginning of the video contact us and we'll tell you how we solved it for you uh people that failed and didn't take a course i mean that was kind of expected some people do get lucky but it's really hard right now to do that with the competition so stop wasting your attempts stop wasting your energy stop wasting your your time really just six months just you know going and failing come and and really take it seriously you have to live in the eb process when you're doing it okay um and people that did a course and failed don't worry it's just a bump in the road that's normal uh, it's expected you may need more time if you are uh from su2 now if you're stu1 and you did a course and failed then Maybe it's something to do with how you approach it or how you studied or you didn't study or you didn't take it seriously. Again, I don't know everybody. I'm just giving general classifications here. So if you want to book a consult and we want to, and, and, you know, talk about it in more detail and, and uh, you know, get me to help you see why, what you could do next. Um, but definitely uh, check out what we have to offer and then you could at least say, okay, I, I, I saw it and I did if you don't like it, don't register. But I, I doubt that you, I'm pretty confident that you'll like what we're, we're doing here. All right. So I don't want to make it longer than this. Just saying things again. Uh, there's nothing new in the news as well. I'm just going to check if there's anything, um, cool here. Uh, let's see. Some frequently asked questions. I think I answered those in different video. Um, and where's the news more dates. Oh, here news and announcements. Yeah, nothing really new. So that's pretty much it. Everybody again, results are congratulations for everyone that put that effort in and I'll see you in another video or in a consult. Okay. So <laughs> contact us and we'll uh, have a one-on-one -on -one zoom discussion together. Hope to see you soon.